Hey everybody, it is safe to say that the Jeep Wrangler is one of, if not the most modified vehicle on the market. When people buy Wranglers, they usually have a specific use in mind, generally off-roading, and they hit the aftermarket for tons of parts to make it happen. But where's the best place to start? Well, that's what we want to look at in this video, and this is actually based on a reader email. Now, we want to go over the five first modifications you should do to your Wrangler. So you know what, let's jump into it right now. This video is part of a new segment, TFL to the Rescue. Here on Off-Road, it'll be Steven to the Rescue. Right now on TFL Now, we have Nathan to the Rescue. And basically, with the current situation, we're just looking to answer more reader and viewer questions. So if you guys have questions for us about off-road, ATV, side-by-side, -side, trucks, whatever it may be, send your questions in to ask, that's A-S-K, at tfltruck. Dot com or ask at tfloffroad.com. We will all get them. And if your question is interesting enough, we will tackle it in a full length video. So guys, make sure you send your questions in and we'll get them out there. Now onto this video about the Jeep. This first question comes to us from Joe, and I'm actually gonna read it out for you guys. So Joe emailed us to say that he just picked up a brand new one owner 2000 Jeep TJ with the four liter, and you can see it right here. Apologies for the uh, small photos, that's the biggest we have. So Joe says to us, I would be very interested in knowing what you think the first five or six modifications should be. This little TJ will be for the wife and I to go bramble through the woods in the hills of southern Indiana. Now he's already thinking about a two or two and a half inch lift and 33 inch tires along with a winch. Uh, are, are, do you have any other ideas or hints you can give that would be greatly appreciated? He loves watching Roman and Tommy so shout out Joe, thanks for watching the videos. We appreciate it, man. Um, and then he also goes on to say that this TJ is a one owner, a 78 year old drove it between California and Florida. It was garaged all the other time. So this actually sounds like a needle in a haystack, a perfect stock 2000 Jeep, 98,000 original miles on it. And he bought it for 2,500 bucks. Joe, to me, that sounds like a screaming deal that you got on this TJ. Um, now, let's go ahead and dive in and we'll talk about what modifications you should make. And once again, let me say thanks for the question and to the rest of you, go ahead and send your questions in. Oh yeah, check it out guys. The best top in the biz just got a whole lot better. The Super Top Ultra features some of the most advanced tech. Let me show you. It only takes a few seconds to flip this Sunrider all the way back and get an incredible panoramic view. And here's the brilliant part. All you have to do is slide these windows out and check this out. What more can I say? It can't be any easier than that. That entire process took minutes, but if you're like me and you love that fast back look, you know, kind of nice and sexy back here, the Trek Top Ultra is the one for you. Check it out. By now you might be asking, well, why do you have a brand new Jeep Rubicon? Well, that is because, you know what, I want to use the way the engineers think to go over how we should modify a Jeep. So let's look at the modifications on this Jeep, the things that the Jeep engineers deemed essential, and that will give us a hint as to what you guys should be doing to your Jeeps. Right in his initial question, Joe actually identified the two things that he wants to start with, and he nailed it. They're the two things you probably should start with, and number one, guys, tires, tires, tires. You can do nothing else but upgrade your tires, and you're going to see a world of difference when it comes to going off-road. Now, Joe didn't specifically say how hardcore the off-roading he's going to be doing will be, um, but you know what? Without knowing that, I would just give you a blanket recommendation of an all-terrain terrain tire. There's so many good all-terrains on the market now. So many different choices. There are so many all-terrains that really specialize in different things. If you want an all-terrain that skews more towards the mud, you can get it. An all-terrain that skews more towards the road, you can get that too. Um, so yeah, you really have a huge breadth of options. The second modification that Joe has already been thinking about, he put this right in his email to us, and what I would recommend next is a lift. Now this Rubicon is lifted compared to a base Wrangler, and you can see it. Look how much space the tires have in those wheel wells to travel, and then more importantly probably, the body just comes that much higher up off the ground. It's going to keep you out of the rocks, out of the mud. Um, lifting your vehicle is definitely important for going off-road, and depending on which vehicle you own, it's pretty simple. On 
on that 2000 TJ, a lift kit, you could install that yourself, no problem. Um, if you wanna go get it done though, it's simple to have done as well. One other tip for you, Joe, if you go for 33 inch tires, you're going to need at least a two and a half inch lift. But honestly, with 33s, you probably want a four inch lift to give them enough room to do their thing. Anyways, definitely want to consider lifting your Wrangler if you want to take it off road. Although to be fair, as stock vehicles go, the ground clearance on a Wrangler is already pretty generous. The number three modification that I would look into definitely is protection. And the engineers that came up with this Rubicon, well, they know that their vehicle needs to be protected as well. This thing comes with stock rock rails. Now you're definitely gonna wanna get some rock rails for your TJ. This is gonna make sure that if you do high center on anything, you're not gonna be wrecking your rocker panels down here. You're just gonna be putting dings into these big beefy steel rock rails. The other thing you're gonna wanna look into, skid plates. There is a steel skid plate up front on this Rubicon. There's some skid plates further back to protect some of the vitals. Uh, going off-roading, a lot of it is about preserving your vehicle, making it safer, making sure you last the full day on the trail, and that's why protection is very important. So I would go out, there's so many aftermarket companies that offer things for the TJ, and look what you can get for rock rails and skid plates. Next up at number four, I'm gonna say suspension modifications. So once again, here on this Wrangler Rubicon, you're getting unique suspension tuning, different spring rates, unique shocks from the rest of the Wrangler lineup. And that's because once again, when you're off-road, you're gonna be putting your suspension under more stress, you're gonna be working it harder, and more importantly, you wanna stay comfortable inside. A lot of stock vehicles that weren't built for off-roading, the suspension ends up being pretty stiff. So you can add new suspension, that's really going to help. And this actually kind of comes along with a lift because there's two different kind of lifts. You can use blocks, literal physical blocks that your stock suspension sits up on top of, or you get long travel suspension. So you go for the lift and then you get longer suspension to allow for more wheel travel. And just having more suspension means you're gonna have more area to compress and therefore it's gonna keep you smoother off road. So suspension upgrades, definitely something you wanna look into. And it's actually something something that you can do fairly easily yourself. Changing out shocks is really easy. Springs are a little bit tougher for sure, but this is stuff that you can absolutely do yourself at home and it's gonna make a significant difference on your Wrangler. At number five, we're gonna do a bit of a broad category and that is recovery. Uh, getting your vehicle into tricky spots is exactly what's gonna happen off-road and getting out is the most important part and sometimes your wheels and engine just won't be enough. So first of all, recovery points. Here on this Rubicon, we have big exposed hooks in the front and in the rear. Um, if the TJ doesn't have these built into that Sahara model, you're gonna to wanna to get something that is exposed, easy to get to and an easy point for recovery. Now the next part of recovery is a winch and yes I would recommend a winch it's never a bad idea to have something that's gonna pull you out of the mud that actually doesn't require another vehicle just a winch point and it's something they thought about here too on this 2020 Rubicon this is actually a winch ready bumper so here in Ontario we have to have front license plates but this is held on by plastic clips if you were to peel that off of there there's already a pre-cut hole for the winch the winch slots right in here to the back face of this bumper there's enough space for it so Yes, Jeep thinks a winch is important enough that they actually make this winch ready on the brand new Rubicon. So I would absolutely recommend you go out and get a winch for that TJ because you know what, it's one of those things, you might never use it, but the day that you need it, you'll be so happy that it's there. One thing absent from the list is a set of lockers in the front and the rear. And you know what guys, for the first five mods, I wouldn't recommend lockers. You don't need them. You need them for hardcore off-roading, but you don't need them to get off-road and find a trail and have a ton of fun. So yeah, for my first five mods, I don't think I would be adding a locker. But you know what? Why don't you guys let me know if you agree or do you think I'm wrong? Go leave a comment below right now. Well, I hope this list helped you, Joe, and I wish you and your wife good fortune and tons of fun days out there on the trail with your Wrangler. Now, that's it for this video. Like I mentioned off the top, if you guys have more questions, please send them our way to ask at tfltruck.com, and we'll do our best to answer them in a video. Now, go below, leave a comment. What do you think of my list? Are my top five mods right, or are they wrong? Why don't you go right now and tell me what your top five 
five mods would be in the comment section. And while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back here to the channel as we keep bringing you the latest news views and real world reviews. See ya. There, you'd see there's already a... Get out of here, birds. Man, those birds are loud, jeez. Wrecking my take, man.